hello friends welcome to the new video in this video i am going to show you how can you show the images in a multiple window at the same time so without wasting any time just let's go on to the idle um, yes here it is now click on the new file let me just maximize the window uh, now what we have an agenda uh, actually i am going to create a program in which we have to show the multiple images on a different window so i it is supposed to just show two images on a different two windows at the same time um, the first window should show the image that is a colored image and the second one should show the image that is a grayscale the black and white image at the same time and um, although uh, with this program we i will just show you that how can you just place the delay time of that window like how can you just automatically um, allows you the program uh, to terminate that windows in five seconds or 10 seconds or some seconds, right? So let's get started. On the first line, you have to import CV2. By the way, uh, those people who don't have a CV2 installed in your PC, so the link is inside the description that how can you just install OpenCV in your PC easily? Uh, you can find the link in the description and also it is placed in the i button so you can also find from there all right so the uh, first line is import cv2 on the second line you have to create a variable with the name of img that is actually the image and you have to call that variable of import file that is cv2 dot i am read okay so this is the function through which you can easily show uh, you can easily read the image from the folder or directory where it is placed in your PC. Uh, they, it, it contains two parameters. The first parameter contains the image location, uh, the, the proper directory location where it is placed in your folder, where it is, uh, whether it is on desktop or uh, local disk C or local disk C, where it is located, you just pass the location of that path. And on the second, you have to pass one. One allows you to just show the or read the image in a colored format okay so by the way let me show you what is my image so this is the image i want to call yes so its name is sa and its extension is jpg so what i have to do right here on the first parameter on the first parameter i am going to pass the name sa.jpg I am actually not giving the uh, exact location because I am just going to save this file, this program file in the same folder where the image is already placed. So I don't have to give any location. It can easily get that image directly. Okay, so this is how you can just read that image. And if you want to change it into a grayscale from color to the black and white, you have to create another variable with the name of GS or whatever you want. Uh, again, you will just call the CV2 variable and write CVT COLOR and inside the parameter again you have to pass the image variable that you have read uh, above this line and on the second parameter you have to write CV2 dot COLOR color BGR that is to gray okay color to the grayscale right now this is the time uh, where you have to show show the image or display the image on the window so right uh, here we have to call cv2 dot i am show this is the function that allows you to show the image in the um, window so we have to show multiple images on multiple windows so we have to create two cv2s right this line should be copy and paste uh, over there and the first line i will just pass the window name on the top that will be displayed with that is first first image like this and after that i will pass the variable that is img okay and the second one should be s e s c o n d second image and the variable that is gs will be passed over here make sure the name of both two windows uh, are unique 
because if the name will be same it will just overwrite the line that is img and it will just execute the same image two times right so you have to just select these two names uniquely all right now we have to place the delay time here you have to call cv2 dot wait key and inside that place the delay is equals to 5000 millisecond so it will wait for five seconds okay now cv2 dot destroy window that is first image let me just copy and paste just to avoid any spelling mistake or any typo so this one and just copy and paste again and just change the name of the second window all right so the program is ready just click Control s let me just find that folder yes here it is and let me just name it with multiple multiple windows like this okay so just let me save the program click run run module and it is just running the program and this is two uh, windows after five seconds it will automatically destroy the windows right so let's wait for a five seconds oops it there is some mistake it is not just destroying the window let me check first oh there is an error there is an error behind that and the error is with the spelling of that function yes here it is so it should be destroy destroy window like this okay now run the program again all right so these are the two images and after that five seconds both the two windows has been terminated successfully uh, let me show you again let's run the program these are the two windows and after five seconds it will be terminated automatically like this and if you want to just increase the time just increase the time and a delay value so uh, with respect to the seconds of calculation it will just um, terminate the window as per your choice so this is how you can show the multiple images in the multiple windows so this is how easy so if you please um, like this video so please hit the like button and subscribe our channel thank you